Hello again. I just updated from a third generation Core i7 to an eighth generation Core i7. Yeah, meanwhile, there has nothing happened. Um, the CPUs and the platform changes were just uninteresting, but after a little accident, I decided to upgrade. I decided to get an SROC board again, and this time it's an Taichi Z370 with yeah, a minor upgrade in the chipset to the Z270. We want to focus on the overclocking of these two components and the A-tuning tool has developed very, very good. Um, you see here there are some default functions where you can simply OC your system with the press of a button. You have a performance mode, you have a standard mode, echo mode. Here you see CPU temperature, clock, frequency, ratio, and um, most importantly all the voltage settings. You have a tool to set your fan speed however you want it, what is the load profile of the machine and so on and so on. It's really nice and uh, you don't need to reboot and you can do most things, if not all, you can do in the BIOS besides some settings um, regarding legacy. I just changed the CPU ratios to demonstrate it from 35 to 37. Um, and absolutely no problem. What you have to do here is simply lower the CPU voltage. This is um, a 1.3 in the example here and you see it's a little bit below that volume um, that we've set. Yeah, no problem. Let's test it. This is a Fumark testing tool, burn in test. This uh, gives 100% load to all 12 virtual cores or threads. And you see it's working, you see the temperature is going up and up. And somewhere is the temperature stable. And I think with, the, with this value 80, 81, it's, it's totally okay. Um, the under voltage is uh, necessary you won't get a stable result and uh, you have messy feed. I let it run again so you can see in CPU set how things changes. Um, yeah, CPU set, another tool to have a look at your components and the configuration at the moment. Also GPU set is a nice tool but this is for another video. Um, I stopped it. Let's talk about the cooling I used. I used the Noctua C14S, uh, updated version of the C14. Yeah, it's one of the most advanced air cooling solutions you can get on the market. I really liked it. It's compatible with all these fancy RAM and mainboard cooling solutions. So there's enough space you can fit it on your board and no problem with anything in the way. So to get it all together, simply under OC your CPU to 1.3, 1.29 volt and up, click apply, check if it is running stable and then increase the CPU speed by 1 in the multiplier field and test run, do another one in the multiplier test again and Somewhere you will hit the 5 GHz 